Lapis lazuli is, uh, is very famous from Afghanistan and, and sold in Pakistan. Pretty much there's one source in Afghanistan, a big mine where they've been mining for centuries. Uh, you, you should be looking for the bluest possible and not many calcite inclusions. Uh, one, one nice trick to do is just to pour a little water. If I pour a little water, you, you can actually see the color of the gem a lot easier. As you can see here, the blue comes out and you can also see the, the streaks of calcite. And you can see the pyrite clearly as well. China, for instance, exports this kind of emerald, which is good for carving. It's not a, it's not a very transparent stone. In fact, this one is nearly opaque. So this is for carving. It's a cheap emerald, not expensive, and uh, also worth seeing. You have stones like fluorite, very soft stones, very soft gems, uh, normally worn as pendants or, or earrings or for collectors. Moonstone, this example here came from Pakistan. Also an inexpensive stone, but quite popular. Uh, you, got, you have to find good clarity though. Uh, this one would probably rent a few gems here. Garnets, you know, garnets, the majority of the garnets we'll see in the world are these. These are not really, I mean, you can see this one was clipped. So garnets are a surprise. You know, once they're clipped, they may be good, maybe not. So, but inexpensive stones, sometimes worth the risk. 